In the following video is a short demo of my process for forging a boom dog or raft dog. These are at one time produced by blacksmiths by the bushel for use in the logging square timber trade. Logs were squared in a bush and then hauled to rivers and assembled into cribs, using these driven into the timbers and connected with chain or rope. There is limited information available on their exact historical use, <coughs> at least that I could find. The cribs were then floated downstream and reassembled to form enormous rafts, which were then drifted downstream to Quebec City, then dismantled and loaded on board ship for export. The example that I used for a study piece was extremely fine work for something so mundane. I began with 9 inches of half inch round stock, bending about an inch and a half over at around 30 degrees, then again at the other end. I'm using my hammer to gauge the inch and a half. The bends are to help form the eye. Forming the eye over the horn, starting with the flat, then using the peen right in the bend. I have cooled the end so it doesn't get out of shape as the heat travels pretty quick on light stock like this. Aligning the ends over each other, ensuring the ends are even. Welding what will become the blade. This can take a few heats to get them solid. Forging the end down into a bit of a flat point, leaving it thick, as the goal is to add mass to the blade section. Welding the section where the legs cross. I turn this around in the fire so as not to burn the end. Just squaring up and centering the blade portion. Got it a bit hot. And double it back on itself. This is to get enough mass in the blade. I'm welding the double back section. Cleaning it up a bit to check the weld. Pointing the end and centering the blade.
drawing out the center portion of the blade with a cross beam. The diamond shape of the blade is done with it on edge, near side, far side of the anvil. The blade has a half diamond cross section with a central ridge which is forged near side far side on the flat. Refining the diamond shape. Rounding out the eye section. All finished up.